What is up guys, Mr. The Reverts here, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk to you guys about my day one initial thoughts from playing the Black Ops Cold War beta and as I'm recording this video, I am currently two levels away from being the max rank for day one. So again, I want to give you my first thoughts along with some updates to come on Black Ops Cold War. Now, before I get into my impressions, thoughts, etc., I want to talk about a couple of updates, one of which is rank play, which has a lot of people wondering if we're going to be getting some sort of a competitive mode within a Black Ops Cold War. David Vondahar kind of answers that question in a live stream with Gold Glove, which I'm going to play for you guys right now. Absolutely. So, people are, people are really, really asking about this, and this is, I assume, something you may not be able to talk about. Let's try. Ranked play. Uh, yeah, we're not talking about rank play um, in the specific sense, uh, I don't believe, uh, in the okay. context of the beta. Uh, but okay. this, but let, me give you the, let me give you this. Have we, have we had, uh, do you know Black Ops game without some competitive, with a, without a hardcore competitive agenda? Can you think Fair of one? Fair point. That's, I cannot. So there's your yeah, answer without right. telling you anything. <laughs> so as you can see, he pretty much is confirming that Black Ops Cold War is going to be having a ranked playlist. I mean, he is right though. Treyarch has always driven a competitive ranked game mode. But the thing is, we don't know the exact ETA on that. Hopefully it can come out on launch day instead of a few months after the game releases. But at least we do know Black Ops Cold War is going to feature a competitive game mode. And then also I want to show you guys this image that some players were getting upon first loading the beta. And at the very bottom, you can see two options, one of which is for the black market and another for reserves. Now, I'm pretty sure this is just leftover code from Black Ops 4, so I don't think reserves or black market are going to be returning. But as always with Call of Duty, things can change up. Maybe they could add like an external way to get all the items inside the black market, or we could earn reserves to give us additional camos, weapon charms, stuff like that. I think that would be really, really awesome. So yeah, those are just a few little things to look out for. And then also we do have a couple of images of Nuketown memorabilia, one of which is a little picture of the house. And then we also have the red truck, which can be found in the center of Nuketown. So can we see possibly another year of Nuketown in a Black Ops game? I mean, I'd say sure. Like the same thing Vaughn said in the interview, what's a Treyarch Call of Duty game without Nuketown? So those are just a couple of things to look out for as we, you know, head into Black Ops Cold War's release coming next month. And now as for my thoughts on a day one of the Black Ops Cold War beta, guys, I'll be honest, I have not been having that good of a time, to be honest. Okay, so look, I've been playing Call of Duty for 10 years now, and immediately when I picked up that beta, I just felt like I could not do anything to do good in that game. No matter what I tried, no matter what different play style I, I played, I was just getting outgunned, I would shoot first and die. Just basically guys again. I've been playing Call of Duty for 10 years I have practiced and you know know so much about the game I'm not nowhere near a professional player. Don't get me wrong there, but I'm a decent solid player I'm like a 2.0 KD player and above. I'm a little bit above average is what I'd say But in this beta again, it's a it's a freaking Call of Duty beta. I was not having that good of a time I'm pretty sure my KD throughout the beta is like barely positive that's how bad it's been and a lot of it has to do with skill-based matchmaking it's even trending right now on twitter as i make this video um it's probably going to be trending the entire weekend i'd even be surprised if i see it trending the entire week because during the alpha this was an insanely huge topic and it's going to be a huge topic throughout this weekend as well so sbmm has to be addressed by the Treyarch developers um but they really didn't do anything about that during the alpha so i don't expect them to say much um during the beta but hopefully crossing my fingers when the game does come out uh within that you know the next in between weeks we have from now until the release they can at least address the concerns because a lot of people are very very upset about this like these are youtubers streamers even professional players are reverse boosting just to get good games because Every single game they get into, they feel like they're playing a freaking $5,000 wager competitive match for the freaking MLG CDL championship, guys. It's ridiculous. Skill-based matchmaking does not belong in a casual Call of Duty game mode. When rank play comes out, have all the freaking fun you want with SBMM in there, but keep that shit out of casual Call of Duty game modes. I truly do hate to be the bearer of bad news. I'm still trying to stay positive on SBMM possibly getting toned down or heck even better removed. But guys, I truly do not think it's gonna be going anywhere because if you think about it, 
you, your favorite YouTuber you're, you're listening to or watching, streamer, professional player, and I'm talking to you right here. All of us encompass this small percentage of the entire Call of Duty fan base because there's a bunch of players out there who don't watch YouTube videos, who don't watch your favorite YouTuber, who don't watch your favorite streamer, don't even know a single thing about skill-based matchmaking and have no idea what's going on. And that percentage of the player base makes up an entire majority of the Call of Duty fan base. So uh, Call of Duty, Activision, the developers, they're trying to pander to that group because again, they're the majority. Those are the players who want to hop on after a long day at work or school or whatever and just play a few casual games with their friends and, you know, not have to get into sweaty lobbies. They just want to play from time to time to, to pass a couple hours and then go to bed. That's the majority of the Call of Duty fan base. So that's why I truly do not think SVMM is going to be going anywhere anytime soon. But that doesn't mean they could possibly, you know, tone it down or even address that. It has to be addressed, guys. This has been a trending topic for weeks now, and I truly just hope Activision and Treyarch can give us something to chew on within these next few weeks here. This is not the last time you'll hear or see SBMM trending, I promise you that. But now moving on to a couple of other unrelated things I had concerns about. The first thing is the field mic. The field mic is crazy good, and it is definitely like one of the best pro camping items I've ever seen in a Call of Duty game. Now the field mic is essentially a portable radar that will show you the enemy's location on your minimap, which sucks because it gives away any flank routes you were trying to do. It's very anti-objective, just it's so so good. And to be honest, I really don't see any other reason to run another field upgrade besides the field mic. I think the recharge time on that needs to be looked at. The radius of the mic should also be decreased as well. Um, so yeah, those are one of my main gripes about uh, one of the items in the game. In terms of weapons though, I think the submachine guns dominated even more so than ARs. As of day one, in my opinion, the Milano A21 is definitely one of the best guns of the game. You could really outgun a player using an AR from long range with this weapon. So. Maybe the subs could get a look at in terms of the damage ranges. Now to me, the movement animations felt way more fluid compared to the alpha. The sprint takeoff feature, which has now replaced the super sprint from Modern Warfare, will allow you to take off faster from a standstill, and then over time you will gradually slow down to a normal pace. And that felt way more fluid in the beta, so the movement animations was amazing. But in terms of movement playstyle, literally if you do not jump shot or slide cancel, you're gonna have a really, really tough time against any average player. Now, I don't play with a scuff controller, I don't own one, but you can definitely tell what player is using a scuff, and it's just so, so annoying with a majority of the gunfights I lose because, you know, everybody is utilizing the sprint, um, you know, slide cancel or the jump shotting. It's just super duper annoying, so. I don't know what they could do to possibly fix that or, or remedy that, but it's just very annoying to lose a gunfight to somebody playing this game like it's freaking Black Ops 3. The footstep audio sounds pretty decent to me. I think Treyarch did a good job with the audio in my opinion. The maps, they still didn't really blow me away. Even the new map, I wasn't really too impressed with that. They just felt okay at best. There isn't a map that I don't like to play on. But also there isn't a map that makes me say, oh, heck yeah, everybody vote for this map. You know, it's the best map in the game or whatever. I'll be honest, a lot of my concerns from alpha to beta were already addressed. And I'm really, really happy to see that. Now, adding FOV sliders on console with a customizable HUD display is incredibly huge for a console Call of Duty game. I never thought I would even see a FOV slider for a console COD game. So hats off to Treyarch for that. They made a lot of good decisions but really the main concern and gripe that I have right now is skill-based matchmaking, which sucks because I really do enjoy Black Ops Cold War's features. This game definitely does have a lot of potential, but SBMM is gonna ruin it. Same thing with Modern Warfare, which ruined the experience for that game with me. So hopefully they address it. I really don't wanna just play Warzone for another year, but I guess we just have to wait and see, guys. So that's my day one review of the Black Ops Cold War beta. Please tell me your thoughts down below in the comments, guys. I love you all so, so much. Have a great rest of the day. Till next time, I'll see you all later.